Hi, welcome to UCPC, Upper Clyde Parish Church, online worship. Whether you're in the parish or whether you're elsewhere and whatever time you're watching, you are welcome here. Even though we can't meet face to face and even though we're physically and socially having to isolate, nevertheless, we are still part of Christ's body and we're still a community, albeit we're gathering in quite a different form at the moment. I hope that you're doing well. I'm not sure about you, but uh, I'm really beginning to find it's quite hard to keep track of the days. I think the only thing that keeps me on track at the moment is preparing for Sunday worship. But wherever you are, I hope you're doing well. Let me know if there's anything I can be doing to be of help. If you want to just have a wee chat, you need a listening ear, pick up the phone, get in touch. And if you know of somebody who you think could perhaps do with a chat or a listening ear uh, or other practical ways of helping, please do get in contact. Please do let me know. On our church blog for today, you'll see a basic order of service and you'll also find a couple of church notices there. But as an experiment today, the whole service is going to be here on YouTube and each section should just automatically roll over it should move to the next without you having to do anything if you haven't already uh, go to where you'll be viewing boxes where you're watching this and down on the bottom corner you'll see a wee little box click that and that should expand over to your whole computer screen so that you can watch this in a little bit more comfort and trust me it's going to make singing those hymns a little bit easier to for you to read the words as ever, I would appreciate your feedback. Uh, I'm getting to grips with the technology. It's been a steep learning curve. Um, but uh, any thoughts on what you'd like to see within our online worship, do let me know. For those of you with younger folk at home, there's a link on the blog that will take you to some online resources. Uh, you can download and uh, so press pause button now for those of you who who do have younger folks at home press pause and go and get the link download the stuff and then when you've come back click back into worship and that way I'm hoping worship will be a little bit more accessible for everybody of all ages and I mean there's another positive with this kind of format of worship isn't it you can also have your cuppa uh, while you're having church and you don't have to wait till morning tea afterwards so small silver linings so we are still in the season of Easter I'm wondering how many of you have now uh, eaten through all your Easter eggs or are you pretty amazing and you still have some left uh, let me know Let's do a wee recap. On Easter Sunday, we went with Mary Magdalene to the garden and we found the tomb empty. And then last week, we joined the followers of Jesus in an upper room on the evening of that first Easter where God in Jesus showed up and where Thomas believed and worshipped. This week, we're talking or we're taking a walk along the Emmaus Road with a couple of Jesus followers. They've left before that evening appearance, and as they head away from Jerusalem, they're deep in conversation about the events of that whole week that's gone before them. What did it all mean? So as we move into our time of worship, let's pause for a moment, let's prepare our hearts and gather our thoughts as we meet God in worship this day. Let's be still a moment. In the mysteries of life, in the trying to make sense of what we don't understand, in the sadness of our grief, God meets us. In the listening to his words, in the sharing of bread and wine, in the joy and in the laughter, God meets us. So come, let us worship God who meets us where we are. Come, let us worship Jesus who knows and understands us. Come, let us worship the Spirit who helps us in our need. Let us worship God. Our first hymn for this time of worship today is Lord Jesus Christ, You Have Come to Us. <laughs> 